Well, hello, boys and girls. Hey, it's Friday. Wow. I don't have to be to work until 5 p.m. So let's play. Hey, you've reached Rhymer PT, Robert C. Peters' YouTube channel. And today, today, boys and girls, we're going to make a wood spirit. Look at the size of this log. Oh, look at the depth on that sucker. We are going to go bananas on this one. And uh, if you'll notice, see how it's pointy at one end and rounded out the other? It kind of looks like a heart. But that's kind of neither here nor there, except for the fact that that sticks out a little bit. And that's going to give us the advantage for a nose. A big old honking nose. Yeah, baby. Um... I use a Dremel 4300 with a Dremel flex shaft and we're going to start off with this guy right here. That is a Cutzel Extreme Taper Burr. Um, I'm going to come in a little bit closer and we're going to start carving and we're going to end up at the tail end of this video with a wood spirit. Here we go. Let's zoom in a little. Okay, that should do it. Please make sure that you are wearing your PPE, your per personal protective equipment. Your glasses, I have on a glove, and I also have on a mask. And uh, what you're hearing in the background is my air fill, my uh, downdraft. I got that hooked up to my shop vac so it sucks away the bad sawdust and it doesn't get into my lungs. To the left of me is a Rikon air filtration system and I've got a box fan in the window. want to try to keep the nasties from getting inside my lungs. Anyway, let's start carving. I've got you over my left shoulder. I hope not to get in your way too much. Um, you know what? Let me... Where's the top? Oh, okay. That might be a little better. How about that? Okay, here goes. Uh, get down here. Oh, wait a minute. How about that? Whoa. I'm going to start off with some eyes. Now, i got to do a shout out. Uh... Kevin over at Sticks and Stones uh, showed me this technique. Um, I've also learned a great deal of stuff from Jordy Johnson over at uh, Carving Fusion. And uh, let's see who else. Uh, Just Carve Rob is really good. Matt Carves I watch often. Uh, oh, and go check out Amy Jo. She's amazing. And uh, I also... Really, 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 really like Wowie's Workshop. W-O-W-W-Y-Z Workshop. And, uh, yeah, Wowie is amazing. He makes some really cool art. Okay, let's do some eyeballs. I'm going to start off with a kind of curving up like this. It's always a good idea to have a uh, fire extinguisher in your shop. You might notice a lot of smoke with my carving. I tend to uh, push hard. I'm heavy handed. But you don't have to. The burr will do the work for you. Whoa, okay. Chill out, dude. Chill out. What's that all about? Oh, okay. Okay, we got problems with our flex shaft. I'll be right back. There we go. Now that sounds better. Uh, if you noticed, it had come out too far. Uh, listen to your machinery. If it sounds weird, turn it off, man. Check it. Find out what's going on. Okay, 
Back to our eyes. I'm running at about 20, 25,000 RPMs. And the, uh, I'm not sure what this wood is. It might be sycamore. It's uh, kind of hard. I find most of my wood at the beach. I go down to the lake and uh, I check the shorelines and I pick up driftwood. You want to get up in there, okay? It helps round your eye. And remember, if you've got a lot of wood to work with like I do here, dig deep. The dig the the deeper you dig, the more detail you can produce. I mean, don't be afraid to get in there. Okay, there is the beginning of one of my eyes. We'll get over here and do another one. Oh, I missed. You know what? That should have been over there a little bit more, but we'll work with it. See how my hump is for my nose? <laughs> my eye is over too far, but I'll work with it. Not a problem. Do the same on the other side.
So I'm pretty excited. I've got a couple of uh, uh, craft fairs coming up. In fact, I have three before Christmas. I'm so excited. Trouble is, I've got to carve my butt off to make sure I've got stock enough to cover three different craft shows. And my wife's coming with me. She does earrings and does quite well, actually. This wood is hard. I'm thinking sycamore, but I'm not sure. Good idea for me anyway to have a something to brush away your dust. And you can see where the hell you've been. <laughs> okay. That looking good. Let's work on this nose. Get a nostril. Let's see, you a big nose. Nostril down here. You still with me? Okay. remember if you're doing a wood spirit or in my case kind of more of a comical it's fantasy if it's got a big nose that looks weird so what it's coming from your mind you're not trying to replicate and make somebody look like an like a real human you're just trying to make a face all right go with it man and nobody can tell you but it sucks because it's yours, okay? Just, just work with it, man. If you feel comfortable with it, then there you go. Okay, now, you're gonna wanna slough away, or like Jordy calls it, I think he calls it feathering. You want to get up in there and feather that away. I'm going to have to switch to another burr to do that. But uh, the more you get up in there, the more that nose is going to pop off and, and look like it's, uh, well, it's going to get bigger and bigger as you go deeper and deeper. Um, yeah, let's just switch to another burr. I'll be right back. You know, I bet if you took a survey, this would be the favorite burr for most of the carvers on YouTube. This here is the Kutzel Extreme Flame Burr. 
boy gets up in there and hogs away some wood and that's what I'm needing to do right now mark set go keep in mind you need those cheekbones but you also need to get some of this wood out of the way Okay, this is just wood removal. I'm gonna put you on hold. I'm gonna come back after I remove some of this wood. I don't wanna waste your time. Just to check back a second. See all that? See how that nose is coming up? Obviously you take this back, that comes up. Um, we got a lot to go, so uh, I'm gonna put you on hold again and I'll come back when it's ready to uh, start carving uh, detail but right now I'm just removing wood. So uh, I'll be right back. I tell you what, I feel like an archeologist, man. <laughs> it's, like, it's like I'm working at Easter Island. Look at the schnoz on that guy. Um, I think we can bring you back for a minute. We're gonna shape this nose a little better. Get up in here, kind of bring it up like that. Boy, that's a big old honker, isn't it? Boy, if he, if he sneezes, I'm screwed. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Also, you're going to want to get up in here. You figure... Uh, you see that? Um, this is going to become his eyebrow. We're going to get up underneath there to make his eyelid and then his eyeball. So let's do that. Okay, now you want to get... You don't want a unibrow. Okay, so get up in here a little, and then uh, help shape that nose a little better. You gotta come down here, because you figure the nose starts and then comes like that. So you wanna have a low spot right up in here. And of course, that's going to take a while, but you also want to shape this, kind of get a peak here, have that come up and then over. You just got to keep in, keep in mind, what does a nose look like? Now also keep in mind, like I said before, this is a fantasy piece. So if it's kind of cattywampus, it doesn't matter. It's yours. It's your art. And if people don't like it, they can kiss your butt. You know what I mean? Okay, I'm going to put you on hold again. There's a lot of chipping away to do, and I'll bring you back. All right, put you on hold. Okay, see what I mean about removing, removing that negative space? The more of that you remove, the more that nose comes off. And if I were to cut more under here, it would even stand out more. But uh, what I want to do now, I'm going to put you on hold again for a second. I'm going to switch burrs, and we're going to work on these eyes a little bit and uh, show you a technique that uh, really, really makes some uh, pretty good-looking good eyes. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I've switched to the Kutzel Extreme Taper Burr. This is going to enable us to get up under... And uh, like I said, uh, the top is gonna, right up here is our eyebrow. We're gonna cut up underneath there like we did here. And this is gonna become our eye lid. And then we're gonna have the eyeball. And you'll see what I'm talking about here in a moment.
Ah, I blew it out. Okay, um, well, let's see what we can do about that. Yeah, I came too much to the surface there on the right here. Ah, bad man it. Um, well, we've got plenty of room, so we'll, we'll knock that out with another burr, but let's, let's try again. Slow down, Robert, and we'll do it right next time. Okay. Yeah, it's splintering on me. Wow, okay. Well, that sucks. Come on. Okay, let's see what I'm... Let me try over here. I'll fix that later. Let me, I, I want to show you this technique. It's splintering on me, though. Usually it doesn't do that. You want to come in at an angle and just kind of round it, okay? Okay, that's better. And then, uh, I mean, you, for me, I press really hard and it kind of burned. And then I can go back over it and it'll take away that burn. But if you'll notice, that becomes my eyelid and this is my eyeball. I learned this technique from Kevin over at Sticks and Stones. And it, it uh, really helped me quite a bit. You know what? I'm going to leave that. <laughs> kind of gives me character. Now, you can also turn it around and get a lower eyelid. Okay? Okay, <laughs> this other eye looks kind of fucked up, but I'll see what I can do with it. I 
kind of hard to hang on to this guy. He's so big. Oh yeah. <laughs> Holy smokes. Uh, let me see if I can clean this up. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I've grinded that eye completely down. And because we've got so dang much wood, I mean, look at that. we got tons and tons of wood. I'm going to try again, and we'll see how that looks. So we've got that lower eyebrow or eyelid, but uh, let's see if I can get the upper and see how that looks a little bit lower. Let's see how that looks. I guess I'm showing you how to troubleshoot. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, that's working. That's working. Nice. Nice, okay, cool. So he's kind of got a got a nick on his eyelid. But this is gonna work. kind of eliminated the nick. Nice, okay. Still be. We're okay, guys. I can fix it. You're up. There's no stopping me. <laughs> cool. 
Okay. He's kind of jacked up, but not too bad. All right, I'm going to shape this nose a little more here, and uh, I'll be back. Okay, I've switched burrs. This one's a medium grit cutsel sphere, or uh, ball, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to get in there and shape the nose a little better. Okay, I'm going to put you on hold. We'll be back in a minute. Now that right there is some pretty serious rhinoplasty. Yeah. Let's get up in these eyes a little bit. I like this uh, medium grit sphere, pencil sphere. It works wonderfully. I got so damn much dust I can barely see where I am. Wow. 
round and round and round we go. Looking good. Well, hello, Mr. Wood Spirit. A uh, beauty character, dude. I see you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, come on over here. Yep. Let's get in and make it good. Do -da, do -da. Give your appearance that's made of wood all the do -da day. <laughs> I made it for fun. All the dee da all the dee da Make your eyes look better than they should. All the dee da Round your eyes like this. Good brain. Good brain. Me likey. Yeah, one eye's better than the other. One of these eyes is not like the other. One of these eyes just doesn't belong. Oh well. <laughs> Whatever. Golly, that doesn't look half bad. Son of a gun. Well, yeah, it does. That I screwed this side better. Whatever. I love you anyway, dude. <laughs> Turn this off for a second. Brush it off and see what we got. Are you in there? You know what? I got a better idea. Let's see my hose. Get me some. Here we go. Whoa, you're kind of cool. You got some serious brain, I tell you what. So, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, do we want this guy to have a beard and a mustache? Oh, get that back. Get down in there. Boy, boy. You know, I kind of think so. Um, let me switch burrs and we'll uh, give him a, a proper beard and mustache. I'll be right back. If you guys haven't found these yet, you need to have one of these in your arsenal, by the way. Uh, Jordy Johnson turned me on to this. It's made for cutting drywall. See how the, if I can get it to focus. See how the grooves go this way and that way, all over the place? This sucker cuts like nobody's business. It's great for making beards and mustaches. Check this out, boys and girls. Whoa. Don't drop it, that is sucks. Okay, start from about here. Your time, Robert.
Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my god. Okay. It started to come loose. I'm gonna put you on hold, I'll tighten it up. Okay, that was a little scary, but I fixed it. And the other side. Doing it again. Wow. You know, I think my uh, flex shaft is, is nearly broken. It's uh, not holding. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, I've eliminated the flex shaft for now. I'll work on that later. But uh, let's get this beard and mustache done. So I took it down to the actual Dremel 4300, and this should work just fine. So here it goes. Got to have my glove on, though. Wow. Okay, here it goes. I'm not going to use this bit. On other woods, it works great. On this one, it doesn't. It doesn't like this wood. I'm going to uh, switch to some other uh, bit. I'll be right back. Okay, here's a here's a go-to I use often. This is a uh, medium grit Quetzal taper burr. Let's see how this works. Got to put my glove back on. Okay, here go. That's better. Oh god. Much better. Okay, so there's mustache, and for beard, I'm going to give him kind of a, a French looking beard, if you will.
and uh, I'll go back and put lines in that and uh, I'm gonna stop this video for now it's getting really long we'll go into our second one a little bit later so uh, hey thank you for joining me and God bless